In my previous post I talked about the fundamental difference between Groovy and Binchell and in one of the comments I was asked to elaborate on why exactly Groovy is dynamic and Binchell is not. So here it is, Binchell is a scripting language, it is to Java what VBScript is to VB, the syntax is nearly identical, you can copy and paste Java code into Binchell and vice versa. But the reality is that Beanshell does not provide any productivity gain so to choose to use it for a task over Java has no real benefit and this is because it does not have any of the true features of a dynamic language like Ruby or Groovy. There are many examples of the kind of expressiveness that Groovy allows in its syntax, but more importantly than all these syntactic niceties and what makes Groovy truly dynamic is how methods as well as constructors, properties etc. are dispatched. Groovy has the concept of a meta class and it contains the methods that a class really has, as well as those added dynamically at runtime, allowing new behaviors to be attached to new and existing classes. This is a feature Grails uses extensively to add behaviors to controllers, domain classes, tag libraries etc. The reality is that Groovy and Binchell are not really competing with each other at all, and address different problems entirely. Binchell the scripting language for Java and Groovy the dynamic, agile language for the JVM. You are kidding yourself if you think there's a fundamental difference between Beanshell and Groovy. They solve the same problems labeling one scripting and the other dynamic doesn't change the fact that they really only differ in what syntax sugar they support. I personally prefer Bean Shell's conservative evolution approach to Groovy's attempt to include everything including the kitchen sink. I seriously doubt Groovy's long-term viability and ability to evolve and maintain backward compatibility. The fact that you haven't provided any examples of bean shell syntax sugar leads me to believe you don't know much about IT. If I didn't know better I'd think that bean shell was little more than a Java interpreter after reading your post. They solve very different problems Bob. As I said before I use both for very different purposes if you can't see that you need to have a closer look at what a real dynamic language is. Bean shell will never compete with languages like Ruby because it doesn't have the necessary feature set to do so. Anyway I hate to see this degenerate into an argument about my tool is bigger than your tool. Instead why don't Binshell developers provide these examples and promote their language rather than feeling the best way to do so is to spread fear, uncertainty and doubt about another language. There is place in the world for both but as I said before they solve very different problems. You're missing the point. I'm not pushing bean shell over groovy. I said why I'd choose one over the other, but choose whichever you like. Also, I'm not a bean shell developer. I'll let them speak for themselves. Are you a groovy developer? My problem is with your argument, not groovy. Your argument makes no sense. Now closures define a dynamic language. What is a dynamic language? Do you mean dynamically typed language? Bean shell can and very well may support closures in the future. Will it be a dynamic language then? You're trying to say Groovy and Bean shell solve different problems, but the reality is both are general purpose languages. I'm not a Groovy developer no, but I'm project lead on the Groovy on Grails project which clearly means I have ties to Groovy. I understand what you're saying and no closures don't make Groovy dynamic. As I mentioned in my post what makes Groovy dynamic is the way it dispatches methods through its meta class and in combination with closures and builders it allows the creation of DSLs which is not possible at the moment in bean shell. Actually, bean shell does support meta methods which can be used to implement DSLs. Indeed, but Groovy's meta class facility covers instance methods, static methods, constructors, properties, fields everything you can shake a stick at. In addition the breadth of DSLs possible is highly limited without support for closures or builders. Bob is usually switched on, but in this case he's missed the boat. According to him, Ruby has as much in common with C++ as Python. 
Graham keeps trying to steer the debate to Groovy versus Bean Shell when it's really about his flawed language categorization. I to differentiate C++ from Python and Ruby and Bean Shell. Graham, we don't need another category. There is no such thing as a dynamic language. Scripting language has always been synonymous with dynamically typed language. Debate Groovy and Bean Shell on their features and other merits. Don't try to confuse users with false categorizations. Sigh, I give up. We shall agree to disagree. In no way was I steering the debate to Groovy versus Bean Shell. I value the merits of both and encourage use of both as each has its advantages over the other. I'm not going to go over them again. I already have done so several times. If I need to explain to you why BeanShell doesn't have the necessary features to compete with languages like Ruby, Python, and Groovy then what can I say? Go and read a few books. I give up. You're arguing feature sets. I'm arguing nomenclature and correcting your factual mistakes, that is matter methods. Whether BeanShell is as powerful as Groovy or not has nothing to do with the classification of languages. Dynamic language doesn't mean anything. It's not a word. Ruby, Groovy, Python, and Bean Shell are all dynamically typed languages. They are all scripting languages. I should read a book? That jab sounds asinine coming from someone who can't even bother to learn the correct terminology for his domain. Calm down, Bob. I'm arguing that you can't say that Bean Shell is the same type of language like Groovy. Ruby and Python. Maybe I have got the terminology wrong, but then I'm not the first one as many differentiate them with this terminology. If you have a problem with this then fine, between you and me we'll call Groovy, Ruby, Python etc. Agile languages. Or does that conflict with something else? Probably it does. Calm down. I think you have a reading comprehension problem. You're detecting emotion where there is none. Agile languages. Enough already. The thing about agile languages was a joke, Bob, just as a side. I've appreciated this conversation. A bit of healthy debate is good and I do think we do actually agree we're just coming at it from different angles. Agile languages. For Pete's sake.